The American Museum of Natural History has stated that Chinese scholars classified the dragon as one of 369 animal species with scales. A quote by Chinese scholar Lu Dian describes the dragon. He can be smaller than small, bigger than big, higher than high, and lower than low. Among the flora and fauna of Southeast Asia, there is a small insect that falls under this classification. The Hymenopus coronatus, which is commonly known as the orchid mantis, has the appearance of an orchid. These creatures live in the rainforests of Southeast Asia and are sometimes referred to as a walking flower. These mantids are dimorphic, meaning the females and males differ in appearance. They undergo hemimetabolous development. After hatching from an egg, the females molt seven times. In their first instar, they appear as small ants with red legs. They grow and develop their orchid appearance with each molt. After their second instar, they become white. Eventually, they will turn pink during their last stages in life. The full-grown female adults of this species, who can reach up to six centimeters in length, have a white and pink exoskeleton that resembles an orchid. The males are different. They remain small and brown in order to stay camouflaged while finding mates. They only grow up to three centimeters long and only molt five times. However, they mature more quickly than females. Females are able to reproduce about two weeks after they have reached adulthood. Soon after mating, the female will lay a cluster of eggs called the uthicae. These eggs are surrounded by a foam of protein. These are initially white, however, they turn light brown after hardening. In five to six weeks, anywhere between 500 and 100 nymphs will hatch. Does the dragon hide in plain sight? Perhaps it exists as an illusion in its environment. Likewise, in the journal article, Pollinator Deception in the Orchid Mantis, these authors suggest there is no evidence that the orchid mantis resembles a specific flower species and is often found on foliage. Overall, these mantids use predatory mimicry to lure prey. This floral mimicry is used to attract pollinators that appear on flowers. The juvenile orchid mantids use aggressive chemical mimicry, which is a unique use of both visual and olfactory cues to deceive their prey. The predatory mimicry they use is very effective and is used by other species, such as the crab spider, that will camouflage itself with its surroundings in order to attack prey. All of these have been the subject of theory and research and found to be the contributing factors to the successful sensory exploitation of the orchid mantis. Some research and theories regarding this species include studies that show that the female orchid mantis might attract more pollinating insects than orchids. Some research suggests that these colors may be more attractive to insects than actual flowers. Here are the questions regarding the orchid mantis. What biological features of this mantis give this insect the appearance of an orchid? Its pink and white exoskeleton? The shape of its eyes? The extensions on its head that resemble a flower? Or the tail that resembles a green stem? What is the function of the orchid mantis's appearance? A function of mimicry, generalized food deception, sensory exploitation, or all of the above. The orchid mantis is considered dimorphic because they have different reproductive organs, the males are much smaller than the females, A and B, or none of the above. What benefit does this mantis have that other species don't? They have the ability to jump one foot in the air. They have a heightened sense of smell. They have the ability to attract flower pollinating insects, or they have an extra set of mandibles. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed learning about the dragon and the orchids.